Good morning, boys and girls. This is Mr. Cook, and today we're going to be using doubles to add on Monday, December 7th, 2020. Now, the first thing we have to do is how can you use doubles to add? Now, we actually have to talk about what a doubles fact is going to be when we talk about math. A doubles fact is when you ever have a number plus a number that is exactly the same. So, for example, if I use the number 1 plus 1 equals those two numbers are the same exact one, so that's called a double fact. Now, the thing about double facts, boys and girls, is you're just going to have to know them in order for these to be really effective in your math. Because the better you know your math facts, the easier math is going to be to solve all these problems. So this is the skill that we're working on today, is using the double facts to add. So if I'm doing one plus one, I know that if I were to draw this out, I'd have one over here, plus one over here. I count up the circles, I'm going to have two. So one plus one is going to equal two. Now we're going to do something here on the bottom right there. We're going to place either two to nine objects in the left box right there. Then we're going to place the same amount in this side to show you what a double fact is going to look like. So for me, I'm just going to start off with a number, let's say five. So I'm going to draw five over on this side. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put the five down at the bottom. On this side, we have to do the same exact thing because remember a doubles fact is using the same exact number. So I'm going to have one, two, three, three, four, and five on that side as well. So if we have five plus five, we need to actually add all these up by counting the circles at the top because we just started these, so maybe we don't know our doubles facts yet. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So five plus five I know equals 10. So that's going to be my double fact. So let's do one more up top right here, and then we're gonna move on for that one. So we just did the number five. How about we do the number, let's say four. So I'm going to just draw one, two, three, four, right there. And I'm going to do one, two, three, and four, right there. So let's add them up. So I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So four plus four is going to equal eight. Like I said, these double facts are only going to be effective if we know them and we are really good at them. So make sure, boys and girls, you're practicing these at home. So what we're gonna do is create an addition problem using a doubles fact. So you guys can either have a partner at home or a partner in school solve this together. But for me, I'm gonna write this out right here, which I want you guys to try to solve at home. Seven plus seven. This is a double fact because I've got the same number here as I do right there. So seven plus seven. I wonder if you guys can figure that one out. If you're solving it at home or at school, we always make sure we draw a line down the middle so we don't get our numbers all confused when we go to check our answers. So I'm gonna draw seven and then seven right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and then seven right there for you guys. So let's count these up for seven plus seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So seven plus seven is going to be 14 for that one on that, boys and girls. Now, these two add-ins are always going to be the same number when they are a double fact. So add-in number one, as you can see, is number five. Add-in number two is also five. And then our sum for five plus five is gonna be 10. Now, like I said, double facts, very important that you guys are gonna know all these because they are going to help you with your math. So for this one down here, we're gonna use the first add-in, which would be three, because I have three green blocks, and then three. And if I count them up, I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then on the, over here on number two, I'm gonna have one, two, three, four, plus four. So the first add end is four, and then the second add end is the same exact one. So let's count them up. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So four plus four is going to be equal eight. But as you can see, for the number three, three plus three equals six, four plus four equals eight, five plus five equals 10 up top. Every single time that you're doing these boys and girls, you're always getting an even number down there for your answer when you add a double together. It will be even every single time. An even number is something that you can divide into two that is even. So let's say if I had, let's say, I don't know, four cookies, and I was gonna go share that between two people. We know that this is an even number because it can go into those two people equally, so it's an even number on both of those. So let's say one person here got two cookies, one person here got two cookies. My people look a little crazy, but that's okay. But every single time you add it together, double boys and girls, it will be an even number. Now in this one, we're gonna be circling the double facts. So I want you guys taking a look at this one, 
this one and then just this one for right now because I want you to see which one does not belong which one is not a double fact hmm so I know that this one's a double fact because it has seven and a seven right there so we're gonna circle this guy I know that this one 5 plus 5 is going to be a double because it has 5 and 5 together. So we're going to circle this one. And I can check out this one right there that says 7 plus 4. Those numbers do not, or I'm sorry, those numbers are not the same. So that one's not going to be a double fact right there. So we're not going to circle this. We can just put an X right through it. And when we come back over here, boys and girls, I want you guys to solve 7 plus 7. I want you to solve 5 plus 5. And I also want you to just solve 7 plus 4 in the meantime. Just gives you the extra practice. Students at home, you're going to continue to work and complete pages 229 to 232. You can also do optional pages of 233 to 234, and the students in class are going to complete their own math activity. So boys and girls, if you want, stop right here, or we can stop in class and talk about doubles facts right there. But you can also look at any resources online, because there's a lot of really cool YouTube songs that go along for first graders for the double facts to help them learn them a little better. So boys and girls, good luck. If you have any questions, reach out to your teacher, please.